Hi folks, we're in our abode today, and we're going to be taste cheesing, taste cheesing, <laughs> taste testing the cheese that we bought uh, on Thursday at Rothenbuehler Cheese Chalet. We, here's the, maybe. And we have apples on there to cleanse our palates between the, um, what do you call it, between the cheeses. Or just because apples are good with cheese. <laughs> That's true. We do have English in us. We do like our, like us some apples and cheese too. Um, so let's get to cracking here. Let's get to tasting. Yeah. This is the. Bacon cheddar cheese. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, <laughs> Mrs. Traveler can't have it because it's too high in protein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he likes it. <laughs> I'd probably get in trouble for saying what it does for you, but <laughs> it's good. I I I like it. It's smoky, um, bacony, cheddary. Can't go wrong. So now right. Mrs. Traveler will try the one I'll that try I one. won't, yeah. and chili. He doesn't like blueberries much. We have a blueberry cheddar, which looks like it has a lot of blueberries. I would say this is from Philly. It's very good. You can really taste the blueberry, but it doesn't overwhelm the cheddar flavor. And the cheddar doesn't overwhelm the blueberry. So good thing. So, yeah. The people on Food Network don't have any. Well, we both like that one. Anything to worry about us taking their jobs with taste testing. This is Swiss rye. Mm -hmm. That is really good. It is. That's so good. If you like raw, you would just love yeah, that. Yeah, it's what you really need to do with this cheese. Is put it on rye toast with corned beef and sauerkraut, and there is that'll be one darn good sandwich. Somebody should invent a sandwich. I think I just did. Lucy is down on the floor with the, I'd like some too face on her. <laughs> That's hot cheese. That's long. That's, well, he's choking on his apple. Mm. <laughs> this is a hot pepper cheese, which Ian also won't eat. I don't, he doesn't really know what's good all of that. She's hot enough for me. I don't need yeah. the other hot stuff. <laughs> this cheese, it's delicious. It's really like creamy, but the heat, you don't notice it until you're chewing it a bit and then it starts to come on. And then when you swallow, you get a nice kick out of it. Very good. And this is just regular a, long. I forgot to say hickory smoked hot pepper. Hickory smoked hot pepper, and this is just regular longhorn long long Colby. Longhorn Colby cheese, which we even like if we buy it at Walmart. So I know this is going to be a hundred times better. They claim it's award-winning cheese. Oh. <laughs> Get your award? Mm-hmm. That is so good. 
Longhorn's one of my favorites. Yeah. That's we both really like the Longhorn Colby. As I said, we'll even eat Walmarts, but I tell you what. Lucy you, approved. You all need <laughs> to make did you just give her some cheese? It's a tiny cheese store. She thought it was a Yeah, she but doesn't yeah. need this expensive cheese. Mm. Anyhow, it's worth coming up and just getting some cheese at this factory. I'm going to finish. Thumbs up. Good stuff. Yeah, it is. That, the cheese from Roth and Bueller Cheese Factory is so good. I just. So that's our lunch. Yes, that's what we'll, what we'll be having for lunch today. Now, whenever I tape from home, I like to give some shout outs. So I got eight more shout outs going in alphabetical order. Link will be down below. And I also will repost the uh, link for Roth and Bueller Cheese Factory down there. So today I'm shouting out Carol's Crazy Crochet and More, who um, stop over, give her some love and support. And she could she could use some loving, I think. If you see her latest, one of her latest videos, do you understand why I'm saying that? Carol Gardner, who doesn't have too many videos, but the videos she has are top notch. Car or, that's Carol Tanner that doesn't have too many videos as top notch. I apologize, Carol Gardner. Carol Gardner is a... Uh, she does the masks and all kinds of makeup testing and does a lot of giveaways and is just a lovely lady. Carol Tanner has a few videos, but they're top notch. I just watched her first video of the birds. And Miss, I think you probably picked up, Mrs. Traveler and I are very into birds. We love bird watching and going bird watching. All right, my next one is Carpenter's Self-Reliance, who is a farmer and uh, he gives, he just tells you all there is about being a farmer, bringing pigs to the market, um, and also getting him butchered and selling his meat. So, you know, go over and check out his site. And I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you ran a playlist or two of his. Next shout out is Car Model Resto and Diecast Collection. Uh, this fella here. He restores Smatchbox cars, and he also has Smatchbar collections that he shows. And as you already have picked up at times when I've shown some of my, a little bit of my collection of cars and stuff, that that's something I thoroughly enjoy. So if you're into that, please go and check him out. Now, my next two shout-outs are to Cemetery Man. I watched two different cemetery mans. One, he uh, tells you histories of various people from the past. Uh, he has some of the paranormal things going on at times that a lot of times he'll just have history. He's really educational and a uh, good channel to see. Then there's Cemetery Man, who doesn't have quite as many videos. He is Sassy T's husband. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss one. The latest one that he put out that I know of was a Halloween video, and it was really good. 
So check him out. And the next and last shout out for the day is Cemeteries Down Under, which is another, they go into cemeteries and discuss history and also do some of the paranormal stuff, which you can believe or not believe. That's your choice. I'm not going to show, tell you whether I believe or not, um, but it's interesting and I enjoy them. So give all these people a shout out, or not a shout out, but a watch. And if you like them, subscribe to them. If you don't, move on. That's And that's how I do it. There's people that shout out other channels and... I will go to them, and I'm like, it's not my cup of tea. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I also will have a link to buy Mrs. Traveler a coffee, or possibly Lucy a dog treat, in my description now. Um, don't feel pressured, but it would be appreciated to help us out. And also, if you enjoyed this taste testing please hit that thumbs up and consider hitting subscribe subscribing to us and hitting the bell we have a variety of things but most of ours is going out and exploring and in that we also have a message for you all if you have to use walkers wheelchairs canes shower chairs whatever you need to do what you need to do to make your life enjoyable and to just help you get out there and get around. It's not making you handicapped. It's making you handicapable. Incapable. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. God bless.